must have clipped up and edited 75 fucking videos today alone. Nice, mm. nice. Yeah, I'm going to get back. I got to get back to that again soon, soon, soon. But we're live, peeps. We are Liz Ive. Speak for yourself. I'm dead inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> I know I'm dead. Nothing can hurt me now. Uh, peak that's, true, that's why I don't cry over movies or anything. I'm dead inside. Wow. <laughs> well, how are you guys doing? Doing all right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Getting hydrated. Dinner's almost done cooking. Probably the chicken will probably be done halfway, three quarter way through the podcast tonight. So the rice is all squared away. I got some more dishes to do, and then I'm gonna just probably just stay up all night doing more editing and posting. Get back in my nice. swing. Yeah, I mean, my old, my old so I apologize in advance to all. I was up at two a.m. this morning and fucking yeah. got on YouTube and started organizing my shit, and then I went to bed at like. Well, I went to bed at like ten thirty, eleven o'clock. Got up at two, started doing that. Fell back asleep around 4.45, 5 o'clock. I think the sun was just starting to crest and then woke up at like 7 and then went on my rounds and I've been up ever since. Damn. This guy, man. <clears throat> this guy, man. Uh, the, the, the machine. First there and the blast gone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> try well, to outwork me. You can try because I outwork myself <laughs> most of the time. I just went to sleep at like... 10 o'clock last night. Got up at 5. I don't know what time I went to sleep. Maybe around 11. Got up at 6.30. I'll be going to sleep right after this. Waking up at 5. Yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be uh, laying down, but I don't be going to sleep right away. But I'll be getting up at uh, 4.30 tomorrow because I'm in the office. Yippee. He's got to take care of some business first before he goes to sleep. <laughs> Definitely do. Definitely He's going to use our last conversation thread as the... Fuck I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I'm not. But before we get too crazy, which we probably will, this is what we're reviewing tonight, people. God told me to, but it says kill on this as well. Like, if you go to Shutter, go on the app from your computer. Yeah, this is a bitch. This is the picture to find. If you're from the UK or Spain, it's also called Demon, so you might want to look for that as well. Demon told me to kill? No, just Demon. Just Demon, okay. Just Demon. I had a hard time finding this thing. It's a Larry Cohen film. Um, That's who it is, Larry Cohen. So, yeah, it was... Yeah, he did something else famous. I forget what it was. Um, He he did one with Colin Farrell recently, and I forget what it was, like five, six years ago. Huh. What the fuck was it called? I forgot. What was his name? Larry, Larry Cohen. Larry Cohen. Larry Cohen. That's right. Promoter. MVP. I already got it pulled up right here. I like how the cover is like a fucking Bible, but it had like bullet holes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, from the way the movie starts with the fucking... There you go right here. It's a lie. God told me. Oh, it's a lie. That's the one. That's the one I remember. You guys can still see and hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Uh, What the fuck just happened? Oh, he said he was involved in Maniac Cop. Yeah, yeah. That was one of his more famous Ur ones. He did a lot of B movies. Hmm. What the fuck is going on with the internet? My Google just stopped working. You're fine on this part, though. So, all right, good. Stop flirting, James. Do that off screen. It's so fine. <laughs> I want some of that Latino heat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a, what a way to start the episode tonight, you guys. What a way to start the episode. No, but really quick. Just want to show you guys what's coming up this week. So Thursday, we are reviewing the movie Black Phone. Woo! Fuck yeah. Phone. I can't wait. It's horrible. I can't wait. It's going to be the worst episode ever. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be a second time watch for me because I did see it in theaters, but I'm excited. I didn't watch it yet. I'm watching it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah. Because the wife wants to see it still. 
or I yes. would have watched it on Monday. I'll probably watch, watch it without her. Um, I'll probably watch it. I'm gonna watch it Thursday, and I'll probably, I'll probably watch it twice Thursday, like once during the earlier in the day, and then once in the evening if the wife wants to watch it again. Right. So it's going on for Thursday, and then Friday, Surf Thirties Watch Party. I should watch. Oh shit! Stir Who suggested this one? Where'd you get this one from? Uh, Friday, August fifth, nine thirty p.m. My wife. Okay. Because I that's told a, that's an interesting one. I've never seen it, but I am a fan of Kevin Bacon. But I told her to um. I was like, just give me a few movies for the watch party. And she was like, she might actually watch this, but she'll be watching it downstairs from her laptop while she's working on merch for mm. this. There you go. Fandom Fest, which is August 12th through the 14th, which is actually not this weekend, but next weekend. Going to have some merch there. Going to have the podcast there. Going to have a good time. Hope to see you guys there. And for this Saturday on Popcorn and Pints, The White Robin. Which I ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Thank you. The white ribbon, which I just realized I have those three D glasses covering the cover of the movie, but that's fine. And Anchorman. So we had some fun stuff coming up. Make sure you guys tune in for all of it. Join all of it because it'll be a great time. And then what's um Infinity Wars, right? Yes. Yep. Saturday Midnight. night. Midnight. 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 Actually, we. Because you got to be up early. Do you want to just do it right after Popcorn and Pints? I'm not. I'm going to keep checking out because right now it's saying rain for Sunday. And if it's rain for Sunday, then I'm not even going to bother. Because I'm not going to bother driving damn near an hour to the track just to turn around and come back, especially the way gas is. So okay. more than likely. Uh, if if it's for that, then yes. You know what I mean? If it comes to that. But okay. if not, then. Just regularly scheduled program, which it's kind of looking like that. Because it looks like it's supposed to rain like all fucking weekend and damn near all next week. We do need it, though. We do need it. Mm. I know it's supposed to be like 100 degrees on Thursday. Which yep. fucking Like sucks. 98, 97, some shit like that. Feel like 103, 105 like last time. I'll be at home that day. I just don't know if I'm going to be working in the living room or in my room. The attic is a definite fucking... Uh, I'll be in the office, dying. so... Take that portable AC, put it right between your balls. <laughs> <laughs> put it right up your your shorts leg or your pant leg. You're good to go. Shit. But I'm in that F. I'm in that shit Friday. But anyways, guys, God told me to, or God told me to kill either or either name works. It, 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 the story's kind of a little weird. It a little. Yeah. Like, is it an alien movie? Movie? Is it a demon? What's going on here? It's there's biblical and fucking religion. There's alien. There's like mass that's, murderer. Fucking there's like they they don't know. There's sci-fi. There's, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm like what I was like. You guys gotta fucking make up your mind. What's going on here? Mm-hmm. So I guess these aliens. Well, the one that is doing the mass shootings, but then the cop finds out he was the adopted. So he's an alien. He's the one the fucking <laughs> girl that got pregnant. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> so what, what okay early, early ratings early oh, ratings yeah, that's right we got the early ratings before we dive into this weird movie um for me i'm gonna say a four i went to four first yeah i was i was thinking four the whole time when i it, when i it seen was the, just a little too weird when i seen the title for this i was like okay okay this is gonna be something it's gonna be something. I think on um, I mean it was at a five. I think this movie got like a three on shutter. But I can see that. I was thinking three at one point, but I was like, yeah, I made but, it. But, you know, but three bad. out of but three out of five, not three out of ten, though. So I mean it's yeah, that's like, true. Oh damn, that, that's a pretty high score then. No, I agree. no thanks. No thanks. I agree. I just I thought it was gonna be like a fucking paranormal movie. Like a legit paranormal movie. That, that's exactly. I was thinking it was gonna be like a, a paranormal thing, and obviously it wouldn't be God telling the person to kill. But I thought I was thinking maybe like a demon, like a person was possessed. Yeah, like they, they look they and they didn't look possessed and all that. Well, other technically, like they were possessed by the alien. The alien was like psychically telling them to do something and aiming out of their using their body. That's true. That is true. And they, they thought say, it was God. The, the, uh, the alien thing was saying, "I'm God," telling the people to fucking do their crime with perfect aim because he's controlling them. Like mm-hmm. a fucking video game, <laughs> and that's, um, that's true. Then before they died, they're like, "God told me to." 
and they die. And the guy, yeah. the cop is like the one that's trying to save the day. That, by the way, we'll get to that. He's, he's watching, trying to figure out this. What's going on here? Is it really God? He's going to religion. He's thinking fucking God are really making these people do it, like population control. Mm-hmm. Um, then it just took a big, weird fucking turn. You know what's crazy about it, though? Like, especially in the beginning. The first, or the guy is just picking people off from the roof with the gun, or off the. Yeah. Not, he was in the roof. He's on the, like a water tower. Or a water tower, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, it's so crazy. Like, had they, it it almost fits in today's times with the whole gun, sh- just with that portion alone. Yeah, and then they do, that, they they do it that way in one of the colleges. Was it Virginia Tech or something? Someone was like a high, like building the sniper people in the courtyards. I'm not sure, but I know that something like this just happened on July 4th in uh, Illinois. Like during the, crazy, July 4th, ju- during the July 4th parade, somebody was, somebody was crazy. Energy. Yeah, but I'm saying, wow. it's going to sound bad, but I, I basically don't pay attention to any of No, I try not to. Anymore. Like I, I started blocking shit on social media and their feeds because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of all the bullshit. Don't get me wrong. I understand that it's horrible shit and it shouldn't be happening. But I can't Love fucking it. continue to consume this shit. I can't. Yeah, it's, too, it's too much. I negativity. can't. I can't. Like yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna go fucking crazier myself. Like it's, it's fucking insane, bro. Mm-hmm. It is. What up, Mick? What's up, Mick? No, I'm with you on Yo, that. Yo, Mick. Saturday night, Infinity War. You want to do it? You feel like staying up late again? <laughs> Get some of that Latino heat. Huh? So he's doing the eyebrow thing for you. <laughs> give you just one nip? No. <laughs> what, you I can show some leg, but I'm sitting. I don't feel like getting up. This guy. Oh, man. I'm wearing shorts. It would be easy, too. Infinity <laughs> Wars, but... <laughs> possibly. Ooh. That's going to yeah. be a fun one, by the way. Yeah. First time watch for me, too. But, yeah, this, this movie, I just... I was expecting so much more, but basically, what you basically what you were saying though, James, as far as I know, you kind of did have the possession thing with the aliens, wherever the fuck it was, but just more so, more geared towards like the religious kind of paranormal aspect of it, more so geared towards that, and it's just like I was I was thinking the main character was gonna be like a priest trying to figure this shit out, what's going on, something like that, yeah. And he ends up being fucking an alien, yeah, so, alien too. or whatever that, or some some sort of being. Because so that older lady that was in that nursing home, or whatever, that was his mother, right? Yep. That gave yep. The, so did she give him up for adoption? Like what the fuck? Yeah, because she she hated the baby. She got raped by an alien, basically. And he looked too much like her father or his father. Yeah. I want just... to get it to him. Yeah. So she hated the baby. That's why he tried to kill her. Like, he was, like, fucking choking her out. Yeah. Because she was like, wait a minute, you're him. And this is the cop. This is supposed to be the good guy. Mm-hmm. Trying but to I solve mean, the killer, but he, he finds out he's, there's, he's fucking something special, like that fucking alien power thing. And then he's trying to find his mother who gave him up to get revenge. I'm like, this, too many twists in this. It's like weird shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I felt like if it went down like one, maybe two kind of stories or plots, whatever you want to call it, it could have been so much better, but it did too many. Too fucking many. Mick, did you see this one? He likes it. I think he said oh, he, he does. He liked it. Wow. He commented on the um Okay. The post for it. Mick likes weird. He does. Well, he did tell us to watch Society. He did. That I that was fun though. I had fun with it. it was that weird. was that Fuck was it. that was insanely weird. That was a different level. It was it's shunting. <laughs> it's shunting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a big Larry Cohen fan. Oh. Okay, part there's a part that made me laugh real quick. I'm so the, the the real being that he found out was the one who was doing all this. The one that's like in a robe looks like trying to look like Jesus or something, like the angels like glowing and shit. Yeah. Mm. The weird looking dude. Yo, he slapped it. Slapped it, her or him, wherever it was, the alien. He was like, ah! 
it just dropped to the ground. I laughed when it made because it's it's just like one of those cheesy <laughs> movies where they go, I have a guy slaps the girl in the face. And he was like, Oh, this is the first time you feel pain or something like that. It was so fucking weird. But that and part made me laugh because I didn't expect that sound to come out of both. There was that weird ass part, and then the part where he was like uh where that being was trying to have him mate with him and he uh, opened up his robe. I was like, What the fuck is this? What Japanese tentacle porn. Is this so? This was just a serious movie. That's what no, you're he's saying. He's saying it's nuts. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Oh, I definitely yeah. didn't take this I, movie. Seriously. No, I didn't. But I didn't get the vibes like that's what they were going for. What? This was just something like I thought they thought it was running smooth and it was just fucking a little too weird. It was fucking. <laughs> like I, I don't even know how to explain it because it was just like. What the fuck? Like this was literally a what the fuck movie. Yeah, pretty literally, much. What the fuck movie? So the, the, like uh, you mentioned the shooting in the beginning, where the guys on the water tower when the when the cop went up there, and he, the dude was just relaxed, sitting back, like pointing the gun at the ladder, just talking the shit, like nothing, like it was just chilling. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, man. This this that would not happen. Ah, okay. Now, is it just religion or is it fucking aliens too? This is like a sci fi. This is like an alien slash religion movie. I don't know what's going on with it. Why didn't they just make it a real angel, not an alien? Why can't it be like a real outer space, not an outer space, like a real being, like a fucking angel or something? Why alien? That, that, that's what threw me off. They could have made it 100% religion. I think just to make it weird. Well, although, although, if you want to watch that one, uh, Ancient Aliens. The gods were aliens. Yeah. Yada, yada. So maybe they're taking it I, from that. I don't know. I was kind of really hoping it would have played out as a scenario. Uh, I, forget, I think it was you who started I said it last, last week when we first uh, picked the movie. That you were, what did you say? You said you thought it was going to end up being like the devil or a demon playing, like telling people to do things and they think it's God and then they fucking, they're killing it in the name of God or whatnot. It was either you, so. you're breaking up. Certainly, somebody said it. Uh, Chris, you're breaking up. No, you're breaking up. I thought it was me. I was about to go, about to throw my computer. <laughs> Imagine telling the audience that your god is an alien in the seventies. Yeah, I guess so. I'm at, is it, shit, you could say that. You could, you could just say, "Listen, I'm, I'm going to teach Sunday school today." You Wait, know, is this that Scientology. The spaghetti monster or alien or whatever that was. Oh, um, I don't know. Am, am I Scientology. still breaking up? Yeah. yeah. A BRB. Yep, yep. But what I was gonna say is, imagine like you know, someone's like, "Hey, I want I want to teach your Sunday school class or whatever," and you just play this movie. <laughs> 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 what, the fuck? what kind of weird fucked up shit is this? Hey, Amen. God told me to play this movie. But then it made a fucking a panic. People were like that one guy. He used the uh, the panic as an excuse to kill the cop. It's like mm. God told me to do it. Like people were getting away with it because God did it, so we do it. So people are using it as an excuse well, to crimes and shit. Yes, he didn't necessarily get a. I mean, he got away at the time, but no. Remember, yeah. you gotta remember, no, it was late at, and when he went there to talk to the cop, there was like no one else there, hardly anybody there. Yeah. It's not the technology we have now where there's a police station but, front, fucking cameras everywhere. But that's what he said that when he killed the cop. He said it before the cop died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he knew what was going on and shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo. All right. So with that situation right there, I'm like, all right. So you go in here. You know, a few of your boys get locked up or whatever. The cop was just the cop basically told you, like, look, do your thing. Be low about it. I'm going to have to, you know, I'll keep you out, but you know, I can't keep everybody out. But you're like the head honcho, the head guy. I can yeah, keep. we're taking out the little underlings. Yeah. Like we just need a few to keep everything running smooth. And yeah, 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 yeah. And he just, he didn't go by that. Nope. <laughs> oh, didn't. by the way, that blood, classic. That shit was like red paint. Of course. Of course. Always, always, yo, with the old. Yo, it, yeah, oh my god, the older movies with the blood. Like I don't mind it because I know the year. I it's, it's the time. 
seventy six. I ju it just brought me back because I didn't see that type of blood in the longest time. I was it like, oh wow. I was gonna say it never bothers me either with those because it's like you said, it's the older shit. And then not not only is it older, but it's this like it's a I'm assuming this is a this isn't a very high budget budgeted movie even for its time. I could be wrong with that. I, I don't know. I didn't look it as up. As far as like effects and shit, I'll say. As far as like, maybe a lot of budget and goes to effects and shit. Because there's other movies that came out around this time, a little after and a little before, where the blood does look better. But this was, this wasn't going for those effects either. Yeah, like Halloween. Halloween it was like what seventy eight. Yeah, so two years later. But there wasn't a lot of blood in Halloween. You got to remember too, though. Ah, uh, good point. It's true. Yeah, back then it was like they they tried the brighter the blood, so you. Everybody knew it was blood. Mm -hmm. It was like neon red. It was like fucking glowing. Like, here's some blood. It's so weird. <laughs> they, they just but, recently did a re-release of this on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So, I mean, okay. I wonder if, I mean, I'm sure they probably massaged it up and made it look better. You know what I mean? Mega indie director. Yeah, I, I, I believe I watched the, It's Alive that he did. I love I love the indie scene. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't. Yeah. Love the movie. I didn't even really. I didn't hate it. Yeah, I didn't hate it either. It's just. I it was. Like, it was just weird. And not I like, didn't like. Okay, they should have took the alien part out. I didn't like the alien part. I didn't like how the cop got found out he was an alien. Then he used his powers. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to make that one guy kill his friends and kill himself. I I just didn't like that part. If that part was normal, like he was a cop trying to solve this problem. And, and it was something, some other way this shit was going on, even if it was like a real angel or something like that. But yeah. the alien thing fucking just, it was dumb to me. Cue the winged serpent. Mm. <laughs> Cue the winged serpent. serpent. Okay. Now that movie don't sound like you should take that serious. No, it does, and that's the thing. I mean, don't judge a book by its cover. I guess it's the same with a movie, but it's like that's the, the thing with this. Dragon. Like this movie here, you you expecting it to be more of like a serious tone just because of the title, but we should know better. No, I yeah, I know. I really went in there like they took. I it seemed like they were taking this shit serious. I thought they were, and even like when they, when I was when the movie first started, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But then when she figured out the whole alien aspect of it and stuff, I was kind of out of it a little. See here, okay, this is how beginning. I was fine with the beginning. So when she was saying it was an alien, and she was explaining what happened, they, she could have been just out of her mind, and it was they still could have used the angel. She was jogging, and a fucking angel snapped her, uh, snatched her up. To plant the seed, get her pregnant, like you know, like the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, like some other dude, Virgin Mary, yeah. And um, I thought they were taking that route. They didn't have to put the fucking alien shit in. Leave it out. Just say it was an angel. Keep this shit completely religious. I agree. I agree. And then I mean, this cover fits better if they do that. I for this true. Cover. That's true. There, there is more than one cover for this movie, but I'm saying this one would fit so much better because of that. Even with the bullet holes, because of the fucking the yeah, because he's a cop. Yeah, the shooting, the mass shootings. Yeah. He just then that then that being had that one guy as his like um messenger, the one's making the phone calls, tell him he was like this time it's gonna be a, it's one of your own guy. He's gonna shoot exactly five people at the parade, and they stopped him at, at the parade. Yeah. Because all hmm. those police were there. All those police were there and they got... Then he called him and that's where he brought him to the dude. And it was so fucking weird. Yeah, I remember... And there's a part where the fucking dude tried to push him off... Push him onto the uh, the tracks, the subway tracks. Yeah, he tried to kill him. But he was like snatched him up because he's a cop. He had reflexes. He knew he was following him. He was he's like, like, I knew you were doing? following me. I knew you were going to... Yeah, he yoked him up. And see, that, the, here's the crazy part with that. Like, that would have been funny, though. I would like that. Just, yeah. just, think, just think about it. If you know somebody's following you, right? And then you know they may try to attack you. I'm taking my pants off. <laughs> I didn't get to that part of what would you do, but 
We know what James is going to do. No, really, because seriously, you'll be you're going to a shock. What would you do? You th- this motherfucker's insane. What if you not- might you might? There's a possibility that you might second think what you're doing. Yeah, there's also a possibility you might get raped. <laughs> like, Good oops. point. Good point. He's <laughs> like he's like bonus. Made the, the guy's like made this way easier for me or she. Well, that's that's true. true. It's true. Um, but no, what I was getting at though is, is like, say if you feel somebody's following you and you feel they're going to try to harm you, why would you stand like right in front of a sub a subway tracks with the possibility of getting pushed? Even well, if you could he, overpower that person, there's still that possibility that something could happen. Well, he's a cop. He, he don't have fear. He's he's like trained basically. That's in his mindset. I guess that's just, that's how he knew what was going to happen. He knew he was really close up on him and he spun around. So it's like uh, now if he wasn't a cop, a regular guy, then that would have been stupid. Like, I think it was dumb either way, though, because it's not like he's fucking, you know, what I mean, like this just I mean, I, I know he got the guy and whatever, but I don't know, man. I just I don't know. I'm moving this down to a three. I really didn't like this. shit. <laughs> then at the end, he used the line. Try to get out. He's like, God told me to. Oh, when they asked, so he was like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're like, oh, so you were blah blah blah. When you were gonna, um, you were going in here intentionally to kill and blah blah blah. He's like, yeah, God told me to. They turned around me, mm-hmm. and it just ended like that. It was just like we're yeah. starting with that's what's going on, and we're gonna end it with, with it going that, on. That's right. saying, and that that was basically it. And that shit don't work these days no more. You can't sit there and they'll say, hey, got me. They're like, oh, yeah, now Kobe got your head anyway and they fucking drag you to fucking jail. They don't give a fuck. Put you in one of them damn rooms. Yeah, they'll put you in one of those rooms and fucking medicate you. Hmm. And that's if you're white. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. But what are, you, what are you trying to say? Where do they put you? What are you talking about? <laughs> the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Everybody, you, went, you went kind of extreme there. Okay. That's what the cop was like. God told me to kill. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was yeah. it was the seventies. It was like different time. Yeah. You know? Oh man. Oh, then it was way it was way wilder than that. Further than that. But, I don't know, man. I I really thought this movie again was going to be more of possession and fucking just something in that something in that nature. Even if the person wasn't possessed, they were just saying that. Or the group like, of people. like as a serial killer, he got caught. Like Not a cult, they, don't, they had to let him go, and then he kills again. Or, or even like a cult, like a cult type of film. Like this could easily yeah. be a cult type of film. Yeah, I'm with you though. It's like it wasn't bad, but it's just I can't get deep into it, and it's just it wasn't for me. It was just I thought it wasn't well put together. But yeah, I guess some people see it differently. Oh, of course. Yeah, like, like I said, I was hoping it would have been the devil playing tricks on people, like giving yeah. them something really great or things they desired, and then, hey, exactly. go do this, that, and a third, and they don't realize they're killing somebody, but then if they are, but then it's like, oh, it's okay, I did it because God told me to, and it's like they're getting away with it type deal, exactly. and then they got to figure out who's doing it and why, and it's random, it's different people, so how do you track that down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Sounds no, I agree. Good. I agree with I agree with you there though, and it's just this just didn't do it for it. It didn't do it for me, man. It didn't. It really didn't do it for me. It 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 almost feels like so many ideas were put together. Or, you know, I mean, they they threw so many ideas together, and they just like accepted every single idea and just figured out a way to pinch somebody's idea in there. It was so crazy. You picked this movie from Shutter, and you put the highest star ratings. And this is one of the high star ratings. Yeah, I'm, but I'm it would, I would I would never gave this a high star rating. There's no way. No, no way, no way. But I, so I Shutter just, only does a five star rating. Yeah, five. And you didn't go lower than three. No. Nope. And this made it on the list as a three. Four. I just three point, I, three point seven. I think, and it rounded up to four. You said. I believe it's a four. I believe they. I believe they gave it four skulls on that. Oh, okay. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> That's serious. Well, no. that is that is true, Mick. You're right. Religion, followers, and shit like that. You're right. Hundred percent. 
It just it don't make the movie better. <laughs> it don't really. You know, you, you have a great. No, movie. I get it. It's 100% what you're saying. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make sense that these people would have rated it that way, but okay. Mm-hmm. I oh, didn't read boy. it that way. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm good for a good religious or biblical fucking, like, horror movie, spiritual fucking oh, possession type yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But I got you, Mick. See? Oh, right how the f- somebody somebody made a mistake. Somebody made a mistake. Mick is a lot mad. of people gonna, made a mistake. He's got to come and tell us off. No, I say he's hopping in. You say he's hopping in. I understand. I'm the same way with him. You're like, there's too much to say. I'm not typing all this shit out. Yeah, Just seriously. Let me in here. <laughs> let me in. I was on stream the other day. Somebody's like, hey, my internet's not working that great. The video's buffering, and can you just type it in the chat? How the fuck like, you want me to just type all of this that I'm saying right here in the chat and just keep it I know, it like, what, can you, you type 300 here. words a minute? Twitch. Like, hold on, let me turn on fucking adaptive uh, closed captions. There you go. <laughs> There's no caption. such thing. Let's close captions. The movie is better when watched by you guys instead of me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Our stories are better, right? We made it better. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. I think I do. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> I definitely do. No, we're not saying it's good. We're not saying it's good. What would you give it yourself if you saw the movie? What would you give it as a rating? Did you miss That's our rating? talking about. You can even wait for Mick. Yeah. He's right here, too. <laughs> Right here with us. That was nice giving up for us. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes, sir. sir. Oh, I see you got a new microphone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. No, I'm talking to somebody else. Can you guys hear me on the mic? Yeah, so we can hear you on the mic. Okay, sorry. Uh, Because I didn't see it going off. I didn't see my little green reading. Uh, All right. I got, you know me, I got my show at nine, but I needed to. Oh, Real course, quick, come in and talk about Larry Cohen. Okay. So Larry Cohen is one of the most underrated indie directors of all time. Filmmakers. And this dude is so embedded in exploitation, education, um, just general independent filmmaking in a whole. So, yes, I get it. I get God told me to kill. Uh, God told me to was... Uh, it's a weird movie. It is a very yeah. weird movie. I'm Definitely. not saying that everybody has to like this movie. And it's okay if you don't like this movie, and it's okay if you don't rate it. It has a place, and it has a lot of respect for, A, the filmmaking style he used to make it, especially for something where he basically had no budget to do this. Okay. And you gotta say, it was some of those shots pulled off, and he was always famous for, especially in New York City. He's pulling off guerrilla film fucking style. Um mm-hmm. And this this movie to come out at a time where The Exorcist is one of the biggest movies of all time yeah. deals with religion and the horrific side of religion, and this one being a commentary on what religion and religious people do was like a big deal. So I think that's yeah. why it, a lot of it I will say um, of the high rating is because a fan of Cohen and his messages and what he was trying to do, and he wasn't like this. He was a funny guy. Like he liked doing things tongue in cheek so don't take it as like he was all serious all the time mm-hmm. is you're not supposed to be taken seriously the message is there though mm-hmm. so the high rating on shutter especially is because a i think shutter is just shutter's a a bit snobbish about a lot of things and certain filmmakers who are attached to it they're going to give higher ratings um, just oh, okay. because they come off as looking smarter, I think, sometimes. And don't get me wrong, I yeah. like Shutter as a streaming service, but their curations are a little ridiculous. If this okay. is five, I would give this I would give it a three out of respect. Okay. If, if I'm doing my rating, which is to, is to five. If it's to ten, I would probably give it a five or a six. Okay. Um, maybe a seven, again, just out of respect to Cohen. Okay. Um, but yeah, for for Cohen and the type of filmmaker he was, this was uh, this was miles ahead of what anybody else was doing in the independent scene. So I, that's why I think okay. it deserves more respect than it gets. But I do get why some people may not like it. 
Yeah, and I, mean, I tell I, those I people, go of... watch Q the Wing Serpent. <laughs> I, I get the whole aspect of, hey, no budget and Q like, the Wing right, Serpent we got a camera. The first New York City. What he, was say. he actually one of his first films uh, not his first films like, but one of his early films was the is widely considered one of Uh-oh. first Uh-oh. black Uh-oh. exploitation films to really put on on the scene uh had starred fred um fred williamson mm-hmm. and it's alive, in the scene I mean, fred at the end fred williamson dies and it's actually him on top of a building filming fred williamson die on the street of new york and nobody, there, there were no permits. There was nobody else. So it was all real reactions from people in the streets to Fred Williamson dying after being stabbed. Wow. wow. So that's oh, the type shit. of that's filmmaker awesome. he was. Uh, okay. Even when he gains a little more money and stuff like that, like he always, um, and I, you know, I, I, I still put up to this day, like, and actually, you guys remember the movie, I mean, original Gangsters? Yep. Yep. Yeah. It had it brought back everybody. Pam Greer was in it. Uh, Fred Williamson. Uh, everybody is from the '90s. Larry Cohen wrote and directed that. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they did, only all came it's back alive. because he was doing it. I think it's alive. He did Body Snatchers, Uncle Sam. He did Maniac. Oh. All the Maniac Cops. He did Return to Salem's Lot. He did Phone Booth. That was the one with Colin Farrell. That and Forrest oh. Whitaker. That I was telling you. Um, what was the other one that I remember? Delirious with. Uh, nope. John Candy. Okay. Nice. So he's done he's done some stuff. I, I I can say that he's done some stuff. This and what I will say what you're saying. He died two or three years ago. Rest in peace. Yeah. The cinematography I love I love the shots he did in this movie. It's just everything else with the movie I didn't really care for. But I, I would watch more of his work. Oh definitely. I've Make seen a lot of his work. Can you do it first, okay. Before I forget I, he has a there's a Oh, it makes breaking There's up. a uh, documentary. It might still be on Shutter. That's where I watch it about his career, and it's worth watching. It's really good. Good to know. What was that? Nightmares in Red, White, and Blue, or is that something else? How am I coming through? Am I breaking up at all? Yeah, a yes. lot. Yes. You gonna go out and come back? Unless he's going to lie. I'm breaking up. <laughs> yeah, he's yes. breaking up a lot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it, you're I very fuzzy off, like, picture. I might jump off. All right, all right, all right. All right but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off, guys. Right, Sorry, right, sure. I'm gonna Thanks jump off and in. test my uh, stuff for my show. Okay, okay. All right, all right guys, love you. See you later. Yeah, Thanks, right. brother. That was our guy, Mick. Make sure you guys go check out the scene snobs. Definitely. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. They'll be live. We'll go check those guys out. Great, great, amazing. Fucking show. Number two on the indie podcast charts? On the good pods, yeah. Good pods. Uh, That's nice. And I'm going to um I gotta get that episode that we did for the charity event from them. There you go. Somebody actually one of the people that were on there made a Google Drive and downloaded like everything. You'd have to go to your part and find your part and clip it out. So I may just do that. Nice. Maybe this weekend and put it out as content. There There you go. But uh, yeah, this uh, I don't have too much more to say about this movie, honestly, guys. Uh, nah, bro. I'm not even nah, gonna bro. try to force it. <laughs> I'm not even nah, gonna try to, to force it because yeah, I can't. I can't think of anything else. Because nah, everything bro. else was just oh. like yeah, same it thing. Like the part even when he was going back to his wife, like you uh, talking to her as a friend and shit. That what, yeah, why? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Oh, his ex. Yeah. Yeah. It was I weird. mean. There's love, you know what I mean? They they liked each other at some point. True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he definitely he cared for her still. Well, it all yeah. connected. I mean, it connected because she was talking about the two miscarriages she had at six months. Yeah, she, he was willing it. He didn't know he had a power. He was fucking making the she, die. She, she mentioned that, though. She was like, I knew you didn't want the kid. Whatever. She had a feeling or whatever both times. Something. I forgot. It was the, yeah, that he was the reason. Again, I gave this movie a three. Uh, I'll stick with my four. First, you stick with yours, or you going up, down, staying the same? What did I say? I said four. Yeah. 
Like, I respect everything Mick said. That's great, but it's not... Ch- I'm rating the movie how I... How you enjoy it. How I, yeah, so... Yeah. Exactly. I can't. I'm not going to be nice and racist just because of that. Good for them. Yeah, that's I awesome mean, shit. But I mean, and that's that's the other thing I wanted to say and like make a point of. It's not like before you go watch a movie or when they're doing promos or putting out trailers, they're like, "Hey, uh, disclaimer: Do not take this movie seriously. Exactly. Only the the subject matter or the context of it. Read between the lines. That's that's not how movies work. Exactly. Movies are are made. They're <laughs> put out they're edited they're fucking posted and then they're uh, marketed and you're not supposed to have to figure out what exactly the director's vision is because that's the point of him making a movie it's it's him making a vision real right so yeah exactly. it's got to hit the mark for me to understand it and all that stuff you know what i mean so it's like man. Totally agree. she's sticking with your four he's thinking Mm-hmm. Think you want to drop it? I kind of do. Three and a half. All right. Yeah, I kind of do. I thought for the whole time, and then thinking about it, and I'm like, all right, well, Three if points. I if I need if I need somebody who understands the film world better to explain a movie to me or what what the movie was trying to do, I Good point. the movie didn't do what it was meant to do, which was entertain and deliver a story that I understood. Three. Very, very, very true, and I feel the same way. It just, it just, not it just wasn't entertaining. It just wasn't entertaining at the end of the day. Like even if you, because I'm sure there's plenty of movies that we, we've seen, which I'm not going to even try to mention anything because it's been we've done so many movies that you're just like you don't really get what's going on, but you're very entertained by it. And so where it's one of those ones where you want to go back, like okay, there's some parts that if I go back and watch this again, I'll probably pick it up. Or it's good enough for this isn't even good enough for that to so like go back right. and pick things up or whatever. I just I'm good. Yeah, the, the, a lot of the stuff just kind of was a little too, too much going on, too much involved, too much over the head, and it wasn't captivating or, yeah, it wasn't captivating enough. It wasn't fucking mm-hmm. just. It was all over the place, and it was it was a little bit too much. For, like I said, if if I need somebody to explain it to me, and I can't just pick it up or watch it again and realize some things and pick it up. That, no, I I even I even ended up watching a couple um, other reviews about the movie itself, and that's how I knew like the the Blu-ray had come out, the 4K Ultra Blu-ray, and I was like, like okay, but it wasn't, you know what I mean? It it it, it everybody said the same thing. The 4K Ultra Blu-ray looked phenomenal. It's a masterpiece of a remaster. But then again, when they talk about the actual story, it's a letdown and it's not, it's just kind of awkward and weird. So it's like, are we just rating the quality of, you know, the uh, process of remastering now? Or are we rating the movie still for what it is at the current time now after it's been remastered? So did it hold up in a time it was supposed to be? And then there's it holding up now and it's not. So. So really quick, guys, because it has to do with horror. Just got an email. <clears throat> Reaching out again to see if you want to review. It's a horror movie. It's like a nine. It's a indie film. Okay. B sci. It's like a B sci fi horror film. It's supposed to be like nineteen fifties ish. I'm gonna tell them yes, of course. Sure, why not? But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just just because that literally literally just came through. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's coming late because we're getting ready to wrap this one up. But <laughs> let's see what you did there. You got to wrap it up. <laughs> make sure you don't get the internet pregnant. True. <laughs> get those you don't uh, want to catch, catch a virus either. <laughs> yeah. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> don't, definitely don't. But really quick, people, I'm just going to let you guys. I'm going to show you guys one more time what we just reviewed, what's coming up. And then we're going to get on out of here. So we just reviewed God Told Me To or God Told Me To Kill. Saturday on Popcorn and Pines, we're doing The White Ribbon and Anchorman. Yeah, yeah. Friday. Stir Up Echoes. Uh, yes, yeah, Third 30s Watch Party, Stir Up Echoes, which is on Stream Lounge, people. You know, that's how you can get to the watch party. Kevin Bacon. Mr. Bacon and Ethan Hawk, Black Phone. 
Can't wait. Yay, yay! And then, like I told you guys, next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Phantom Fest. Go to phantomfest.org, get them tickets, get them tickets, get them tickets. So no popcorn and pints next Saturday. No, no, no. No popcorn and pints next Saturday. This Saturday, popcorn and pints. Next Saturday, no popcorn and pints. And this Saturday, we will announce James's birthday picks for the weekend of the 20th of August. Hell nice. yeah. It's going to be a fun, fun time. And we may have a guest. Oh, nice. that, okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys about it off air. Okay. But, uh, boom. <clears throat> Yo, yo, it's the worst damn gamer ever. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay here with Horror with Sir Sturdy and myself. If you're enjoying the content over on my stream on Twitch, don't forget to go follow Horror with Sir Sturdy. Don't forget to follow the Z Network. There's tons of creators on there that are doing their thing. You can catch me gaming. I do a motivational pod or motivational gaming stream every Monday from 11 a.m. to about 1 32 p.m. Uh, so it's two or three hours of just some great inspirational uh, talks. Tons of videos that will just help put your mind in the right place to be productive, overcome some shit, and get yourself moving again if you've been stuck or stagnant. So don't forget that. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, you catch me here with Sir Sturdy, rating all these great and horrible horror movies. And then Friday, Fortnite Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch me until the sun comes up pretty much till I can't no more. We play Fortnite with a regular crew. It's a dope-ass time. The banter's great. I got a ton of short-form content coming for you, so go hit up the TikTok and follow don't forget to hit the youtube page and subscribe you can also catch me on instagram and facebook as well you can also go check out our boy dreams the creator he is pretty much the wizard with digital imagery digital sound if you need somebody to capture a moment of yours in your life be go ahead if you need somebody to help you with branding or capture your vision for your company he can help you do it if you let him know the worst damn gamer or sir sturdy sensha he'll hook you up with a dope ass discounted price you can also check out our boy kyle the anger canadian up in canada running so good at scary super dope content over on the tiktok that you can stitch duet uh have fun with all of that stuff make sure you let him know we sent you and on his facebook if you send him your independent projects that you're working on if they're horror related or not thir- uh, hour is it an hour or 30 minutes i keep forgetting so it's 30 mi- <clears throat> what it is is it's if it's on this for us to Watch review and all that stuff for the interview. It's thirty minutes, but if it's for the watch okay. party thing, it could be a full length feature. So if there you, you want, go. So, um, but for the watch party, it has to be on YouTube for the full length feature thing, so I can actually be able to show it to. Well, you know, do the watch party thing for it. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. You got a uh, avenue of you for you to get some exposure, get your project out there to more eyeballs. So go hit up Kyle. Let him know the boys at the Z Network said what up. And then our girl, the gruesome queen of horror, of any last words, her name is Joe. She just put out a magazine in the horror space. She does recipes in the horror space. She does ghost stories, origin stories. She's got tons of content up. She's got a Patreon in which you can go and support her as well. If you like the content, you can find her on Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok as well. So make sure you say what up. Let her know that we sent you. And the boys at the Z Network said hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, before I forget, midnight matinee, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For me, you can catch the... We're coming around the corner on the end of the phase three of the MCU. It is uh, Avengers Infinity War. We only have Endgame to go. Since 30 won't be on for Endgame uh, next week, I'm going to wait and and throw that another day. Or if I can get it pre-recorded, I'll throw it up for you at the regular time. But right now, it looks like it's going to be postponed um, because Sturdy hasn't watched all of these. And we're at the end, so I really want to get his input. I want to see what he thought about these. I know his wife's a huge fan. If you're a huge fan of anything Marvel, you can go check it out all on YouTube. They're in individual playlists as well for all of this different content and reviews. So go have fun with that. Come see me and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Make sure you guys tune in for everything Worst Damn Gamer just said. And make sure you guys tune in for Horror Research 30 every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Go to HorrorResearch30.com to get all my links. Click the link in the description. Click the link tree in the description to get my um, stream lounge link. Or click the link in the description. I forgot where I put it. But uh, because that's where you can do the watch parties with me, as you can join the watch parties. And this Friday, like I said, we're doing stir of, doing stir of echoes, and it's fun. It's fun as hell doing these watch parties. And then for you indie people, 
the fan films. If you guys want me to do a watch party for your films and you guys can co-host that with me, I would love to. Or if you just want me to do it on my own, which I'm probably going to end up doing anyway because they're on YouTube, I'm going to do that. But if you you know, you know, request it, hey, can you do it? Blah, 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 blah. I'll push the date. You know, I'll push those movies forward. Because I'm already working on a list behind the scenes of just what days and what dates and I'm doing certain films. So if you want your film to be a part of that, I'll let you boy and let me know. And again, every Tuesday and Thursday, Horror Research 30, go to HorrorResearch30.com. Popcorn and Pints, Saturday, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Every Saturday, we do two films. We try to see how these two films connect. This Saturday is The White Ribbon and Anchorman. I feel like it's going to be a tough connection, but we'll, we'll, we'll tie in some weird, even if we have to do a cheap way, it won't be the obvious as far as like the wheel name and all that other shit. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out, but make sure you guys tune in for Popcorn and Pints. Make sure you guys tune in for Horrors or Sturdy. Make sure you guys tune in for anything Z Network, any Z Network collab, correlation, anybody we're across with, anybody we're cool with. Stories from a bar. You guys need to really, really check this podcast out. You're going to get some awesome breweries to go to in the capital region. A couple places to eat as well with these breweries. You know, some of them have some good food there. You're going to get some independent artists on there now which is fun you could listen to some new music some artists you've never heard of maybe possibly and then they become your new favorite artist or at least that new you know that newer artist just like oh you know what i like this i like this so yeah tune in for stories from a bar tune into the z network and thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you in your nightmares peace peace peace